this this Ford Expedition rental is uh, not the, not the best tripod. Shut the car off, dog. Gotta get that sound. Oh, that's pretty much the, how my last three days are going. So here's the deal. Um, I am gonna make a video today. I am gonna respond to some things. I'm just gonna talk. I don't know if this is gonna be a video about Trisha or if it's gonna be a video about me. Um, but the thing is, is uh, um, I'm in Boston. My sister's getting married today. Trisha was supposed to be here for the wedding. Um, um, I decided that she shouldn't come, uh, I think last week. I'm really sad that she's not here. It sucks. Uh, it was really fun to be around her. She's, you know, it's always fun with her. Um, there's been so much said. I just watched a 37 minute video that she posted. I texted with her last night. Uh, she's, uh, we had some good moments texting last night. We had some bad moments. We had some frustrating moments. Um, I still love her. I'm not over her. Um, first let me say that, uh, I'm not in love with my ex-wife. I just uh, wanted to live uh, close by. I, 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 when I go uh, hang out with my ex-wife and my two kids, um, I'm trying to give my kids moments where they, it's the four of us. And I, I don't guess she doesn't understand that. I'm trying to, like for if you think about my little girl, for her to not, you know, have her mom and dad at the same time and not ever, ever have those moments, I think that's really sad. So I, I want to give them those moments. I want to give them the appearance that we do all love each other because it, it's not even for appearances. We do all love each other. I love my ex-wife. She's an incredible woman. It turned out that I couldn't live with her. It turned out that we wanted different things. My ex-wife has you know, jumped leaps and bounds and, and she has a boyfriend. She has an amazing boyfriend uh, and he's a cool dude and I'm fine with it. And it's like, I don't, I guess she couldn't accept that. Um, I would have, you know, invited Trisha to come out to dinner with me and my ex-wife, but there was just so much animosity between, um, you know, the two of them, and there was uh, a lot of vitriol coming from Trisha all the time about her, and it just seemed like, well, you know, I, I probably should have. I probably should have introduced everybody, but I never did because there was just like, oh man, it's going to be awful. It's going to be a fight. There's going to be, they're polar opposites. Polar. I mean, if you could see my ex-wife and then see Trisha, you'd be like, wow, that's their night and day. Um, which is okay. I also want to say that, um, first of all, that Trisha was incredible around my kids. In incredible. It, it, it was probably the thing that made, that made me like her the most. Like, my, 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 absolute, my heart would melt to... Probably because, you know, she could be so, um, um, I'm trying to choose my words better because she's right. I don't choose my words well. I'm, I'm bad at that and I'm working on it. Um, but she, you know, she, she had, she could be pretty intense and about things and, you know, she's on the internet screaming or whatever she's doing, she's crying on the internet. But when she was with my kids, she was, man, like the perfect the perfect person didn't try to be their mom, um, uh, but also was like an adult and you know bought them things. Would would like maybe if she like bought one of them one th something else, she would like go to the other and try to um, you know like buy buy them something or not even just buy them something. Like maybe she would buy Charlie something, but then she would kind of talk to Wyatt about guitar or something like. And she was able to, and when they were around her, they were, they were different people. They were, bah, 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 bah. I mean, remember the first time they met them, they met her, they were competing to see who would talk to her next. Like, and, um, one would start talking and the other would, would come in with something else to say. And I mean, 
Wyatt would have a violin under his arm, like, oh, look at this, look at this, and Charlie would be tap dancing, you know. So she was amazing with the kids, and she never, um, and she brought up a good point last night, which was, I know if she was here, she would, uh, she wouldn't bring up any of our drama around the kids. I know, I know she wouldn't. And I remember when we went to uh, Disneyland, I was just, I was like my, it was the, I felt, I felt, I felt complete for the first time in a long time when we were there because it was like, wow, like, like, oh my God, like, she's like being so, so great and, and so nice. And anyway, so it's like, it's hard to be divorced, you know, it's just, it's really hard. I just want those kids to have everything. I want them to be productive members of society. I want them to be able to work. I want them to have a, a passion, you know, I really do. Um, but this idea that like, hmm, I don't know what I'm going to say next. But I've been getting a lot of really, really bad emails um, about the fat shaming. And, um, and that's okay. I don't really care. I'm not mad at Trisha about that. It's, it's fine. Oh, you're disgusting. You're a POS. Uh, what else? You're disgusting. Got a lot of you're disgusting. How could you say that about your girlfriend? Um, and then, and then there's the, the issue of, uh, uh, what was said on the tape. There's, the, you know what, uh, David, David has said this to me too. Like I, I do choose my words poorly and, you know, part of, uh, I, I really, I really got into the mind of, of people that, that are overweight and I, and I, and I was a, a fat kid. So like, I understand, um, I think partially when like, you know, we make, uh, fat jokes or something, or if, 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 um, if we say, oh, Zane, you're fat or whatever, or Zane calls me fat or whatever, or uh, it's like, it's so funny to me because it, I was there and I know how tragic that it feels tragic to me. And, and that's why it's funny to me, um, that someone, you know, can't stop eating or whatever. But I also, I, I've been reading a lot of the comments and a lot of the emails and like, and I understand I've really been thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, I guess, I guess for a lot of people, it's a, it's a disease, and like they can't they can't stop. And I guess you know, and that's why with Trisha, like she, you know, she was reading these texts, and I you know she takes these things and she, I don't know if she's t twisting words or if she's just hearing what she wants to hear. Like I was, I, I said, yeah, like, I guess I realized that, you know, I, I don't want to be around. I don't want to, she would order, one time she ordered like chicken parmesan at like 1130 at night for a mukbang. And I was like, I, I can't, I can't, I'm 45 years old. Like I, it, I could have a heart attack at any moment. Um, and so like, I just, I can't be around it. And I, and I want, and then I, I want to eat and I'm, but, but like, but I don't, these emails that are getting are like, let her eat what she wants, blah, 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 blah. And, 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 and that's not, that's not the case at all. All I'm saying is like, she can have chicken parmesan. I'm saying like, let's just have some sort of, some, some sort of like reason with it. Just like something, not like this and that and that. Like, um, how about like, hey, you're going to do like a mukbang on Friday. So let's maybe try to eat healthy on Wednesday and Thursday. Or, you know, the, 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 I, I once read this book. I was, I was really overweight, and I once read this book, um, I think when I was like 40, or maybe I was like I'm 45, maybe I was like 42, I lost a lot of weight, I, was, I got down to like 175, and I was really happy, that was like the happiest I'd ever been, and I was like, I ate the same thing every day. I read this book by this mobster um, who worked for Whitey Bulger in Boston, and he was like, um, it's called Brutal by Kevin Weeks, and he said, uh, he said Whitey Bulger who was the, the biggest mobster in Boston, was so successful because he led a regimented life. 
So he wore the same thing every day. He ate the same thing every day. He worked out the same way every day. And I really got into that mindset and I was like, and that sort of worked for me. I was struggling with bipolar disorder. So like, let's be clear, like, you know, I have my own problems too. Trisha's not the only one that, you know, could can be unstable. That's, that's totally fair. Um, and, you know, so I was like really struggling and this was like a big part of my divorce was like, um, I was doing Vine and I would go out and I would, <laughs> I would have a lot of fun doing Vine all day. Oh man, I made me make a Vine with King Batch. It was pretty exciting. I thought he was a really talented guy. I would make Vines with Brandon. Um, and, and I get really excited. Like, oh man, I could, it's like a real rush. Like, haha, that was funny. And then with Vine, you would see like right away you'd see something get like, oh my God, that was like 20,000 likes in 10 minutes. Like, what the heck? Like, that was like a real rush too. So it was like validation, whatever. But then by eight o'clock, I couldn't pick my head up at all. And I was like, and I think like I had like no adrenals in my head. I had no blockers in my head. And so, and that was like why my marriage was going down and I was eating a lot, whatever. So I just was like, all right, I got to do this. I got to cut this out. I mean, I'm old. So like if I eat chicken parmesan at 1130 at night, like I literally... I wake up and I can't move. Like my back, it, it feels like someone beat me with a bat. Like that's what it feels like. I mean, even this morning I woke up and I was just like, I, I can't even move. And so that's why I can't eat. I can't. And so, and I, I think she, I know she understands that, but it, it was never like, I just hate when she would twist it and be like, you think I'm disgusting. You, you, you can't look at me. And that's, that's it's not at all. Like I, I, I I like I like women that are full figured. Like I prefer it. I really do. So I, I that's just not true at all. Um, and I do. I guess I do. I owe. Um, I owe Trisha. She's right. I, I I need to choose my words better. And so just getting back to like the the fat thing. I think that's why I think it's so funny. Is just because I. I just know that pain. I know what it's like to be like, oh my God, I cannot stop eating and I am eating myself to death. I I can't move because I'm so fat. And so it's like a serious thing with me. And like, she, she, she did this thing in her video, which is like, I'm not laughing at her. I know if she was here, she would think it was funny, but she was like, she was crying and she was like, and I was buying him candies. I was, I was, I was putting candies there and I was leaving little Reese's for him and I was like, so like that, <laughs> please don't think that like, look, I'm not a guy that's going to sit here and t talk about being triggered and I'm from a, a different time where we don't talk about that. And it's like, you know, this idea that, um, this idea of being triggered, like, Hey, okay, here's a, here's a minefield of things that um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but once you do say that trigger word, then it gives me license to, um, you know, say whatever I want and and cry and and call you and 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 demonize you and make you the villain. Like, so that whole concept, like, I don't get behind it all. Like, Trisha put Reese's in the cabinet. That's my. That's on me to say no to those Reese's. I mean, like, a normal person can say no to the Reese's. I can't. Not her fault. I would never. And also, like, let's be honest, it's kind of funny that I go and I eat Reese's at two in the morning. I mean, it's just, it's, I'm weak. I'm a weak person. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, that's just the way it is. But I just, uh, so anyways, yeah, so I, I guess I, I learned a lot from this. I learned about, you know, the words I use and calling somebody fat, even though I never called her fat, um, you know, I did the, the joke that was said on the tape was, uh, I got the tape. I have the tape and the producer says, I can't play you the tape because it, for legal reasons, but, um, the joke is, and I guess I owe Trisha an apology. I really do. It's so funny. It's so funny. Like what 
I, I called the producer and I said, I need that tape. I need that tape. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe it'll save the relationship or maybe it'll, you know, I, maybe it'll do something. And he said, okay, I'll get it for you. I'll get you the tape. And then he got it and he was like, you can't, you can't broadcast it. I'll give you the audio. I'm not giving you the video and please don't broadcast the audio. I said, okay. <laughs> so the transcript from the tape is the producer says, um, okay, so he, he tells Trisha, you guys, you guys say you're the, um, I mean, I'm so sorry. I got to get this right. Cause you know how freaking important this is. Huh. And, and, and this is, this is in defense of Trisha as I, I owe her an apology. I really do. Hmm. Let me shut this off and I'll, okay. So the producer says to uh, Trisha to go like this, to say, "You are, uh, we are one of the biggest YouTube couples. He feeds her that line. And so I say, yeah, in wait, like that. And then she says, babe, like that. And then, so when he sends me this text, I think, okay, I'm in the clear. I never said fat. I never... I never said it. She, so she's wrong. She lied. Well, the truth is, and then a couple minutes went by and I went, oh, wait a minute. And I read the rest of the text. I read the rest of the transcript. She says, babe. And then after that, I go, I mean, we both are fat. Like that. And then I say, I'm sorry. Well, first... And so... I meant, I'd say, I mean, we both are fat, I meant we both are fat, and then she goes, and then I say, she kind of goes like, like that, and I go, oh, I thought you liked that joke, I thought that joke was okay, like that. So, like, I didn't even know that I said that word, and I did, I said it, I said, so it's like a really, really, really poor, it's a, it's, it's a bad joke, I actually think the joke landed kind of funny, like if it was Zane sitting in there, Zane would have laughed. Not that Zane's fat. Zane's not fat. Zane, Zane's been looking really good lately. Um, um, but it, but I did use that word fat, and so like I totally. Oh no! Here comes Wyatt. Hey! Oh god! I just want to finish this video. What is it? Do, what are you doing? Okay. Do you need? I'm doing this video. What is it? What? Um, oh. To call the Uber at 11.30 oh, sharp. Okay, okay, okay. Is, but sharp, because she wants to get here early. Okay, okay. Thank you. Love you too. Oh my god, that's my life. So, so yeah, so I, I owe her an apology. And I should, I'm like not going to use that word. And for people that are struggling with their weight, I'm really sorry. And like, I, I, you know, this 2018 that we live in, I hope... I hope that people can uh, can learn from their mistakes and be forgiven and like, yeah, believe me, I am going to be really careful, you know, about people's feelings and stuff and I mean, that's it. This is a 20 minute video. It's so long and ridiculous. Um... And I just wish... I said to Trisha last night, I said, can we, I wanted to, I, I said, I, I brought this up. I said, maybe we should, can you go talk to somebody? Can we, and she, she didn't like that at all. And like, she said, you need help too. I said, yeah, I do. I should go talk to somebody too. I said, why can't we better ourselves? Don't be so arrogant as to say that you can't be better in some way. You're not perfect. Um, she said, I said, I, I want you to change. She goes, well, if you really love me, you wouldn't need me to change. And I said, well, I said, get, I said, I want you to get better. You know, I said, she goes, well, those are two different things. And I just was like, okay, you know, I do love her. I really do. I love her so much. I think that she's just, I just wish we could figure out a way to, she would just calm down and not be jealous about other people. 
Um, but then again, I guess that's probably what makes her so great, is that she loves so hard, too, so. She said something really funny last night. She goes, she posted this video at like 3 in the morning. I was asleep. I was asleep at like 11 p.m. here, and then she, her text, she started texting me and woke me up. And then I was woken up, and then I was all fired up about everything, because we're going back and forth or whatever. And uh, then a couple hours later, I was watching I was watching Lady Gaga's A Million Reasons on, uh, on Howard Stern's uh, channel. It was really good. And then I said, I'm watching your video. I'm watching your new video, The Real Reason We Broke Up. And she said, uh, babe, don't watch that. It's personal. And I was like, well, then why did you... I'm like, I think you don't know the definition of the word personal if you posted it to four million people. And she kind of laughed, and she thought that was funny or whatever. So, um, yeah, I mean, I have to keep posting videos. Um, and so that's why I'm posting this. I hope this doesn't seem as like a... a rebuttal to her. I guess it is a rebuttal to her. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess that's why... All right, I gotta go to my sister's wedding. I'll probably just keep making videos all week because I have to take care of kids. Trisha was gonna come and I was really hoping to put the kids on her and have her watch them while I watch TV, but that's not gonna happen now. Um, all right, I said a lot. I love you guys um, and have a great day. Okay.